Hello and welcome to a new Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video I made a loading screen. So basically this replaces the default loading screen. You might have seen it stays there for a couple of seconds but that's just uh, you can't really get rid of it in time sometimes. But um, yeah as you can see it like brought up the UI and then slid down and it got deleted from my UI uh, folder or the player GUI. Um, folder I think it is a folder so anyway um, let's get started okay so first of all we have this um, GUI right here called loading screen that I made it's just a simple frame with a text label in it and I'm actually going to create a local script in replicated first to start this off uh, because that's uh, how you do um, loading screens it's the first thing that loads in and then we're actually gonna put the UI in there so then after that, we're going to have services. Uh, we don't need many services for this. Actually, it's a pretty pretty simple thing to make. So I'll say local players equals game get service players. And I'll say local replicated first equals game get service replicated first, not replicated storage. And then in other, we will basically have this UI. So I'll say local GUI equals script dot loading screen. And I'll say local player equals players dot local player. And I'll say local player GUI equals player dot wait, player colon wait for child player GUI. And then basically all we need to do for this to work well, first of all, uh, we want to disable the default loading screen. So to do that, we say replicated first, replicated first, colon, uh, what was it again? Remove default loading screen. Okay. And that's all you need to do. And then we're going to say gy.parent equals player gy. And we're going to wait, wait five seconds or wait 10 seconds. And then we are basically just going to say, uh, I'll actually do a tween just because this is such a short thing. So I'll say local tween service equals game get service tween service. If you don't know what that means, basically moves, changes a property by a certain amount over a certain amount of time. So um, I'm going to say local uh, GUI tween equals tween service colon create. And we just say GUI dot dot main frame that's what I called the frame and we give tween info with tween info dot new and then there's all these properties that you can use I'm only going to use the first one you um, you only need to use as many as you want um, but you need to have them like in order so for example you can't use the last one without defining ones before it that's sort of an annoying thing but that's sort of common uh, in scripting languages. So um, after that, after we have the tween info, we make a table of the properties we want to change. So I'll say position equals udim2.new and that basically is the UI position of things and it gives, you can put in the scale and offset of x and y. So I'm going to say 0, 0, 1, 0 and that basically means it'll go off the frame and then we will say position that that's right right okay yeah and we'll say gy tween colon play and then I'll say gy tween dot um, gy tween dot finished colon um, connect colon wait so that basically waits for the tween to finish and then we're going to say gy colon destroy and then I'll basically just get rid of it and if I use the right word I think it's finished um, yeah so I've noticed um, on my end there's been a lot of uh, lag so it's probably going to take a shorter time for the loading screen to to delete from you from your side also um, let me just tween completed all right yeah that's what it is so tween dot completed not computed completed 
uh, and then that should be good. That's pretty much all you need to do to make a loading screen. Now I believe there's a um, content provider is a service and you can basically use preload async and get like make a table of all the textures in your game and then you can basically just um, wait for them all to load in and um, I say textures but like textures meshes anything from Roblox servers or like from the internet and not just like in your game you know so um, yeah there's that as well if you want to do something like that also I didn't turn on ignore GUI inset uh, for this UI but if you do that it'll just have it'll just go over the default um, top bar thing and it'll look a lot better in my opinion because it sort of just goes over like that and then it goes away and then it should delete itself yep it's no longer there so anyway that's going to do it for this video if you liked the video consider pressing the like button and subscribing to the channel with post notifications to get updated on all new videos that I post. And also, if you want, you can join the Discord server. Link's in the description if you have any questions or anything like that. Thanks, and goodbye.